Hello and welcome to Gaming with Jasper. I'm Jasper and this is Gaming with me. <laughs> We're going to play the test. I saw Markiplier play this and the questions look interesting. So, uh, and it's only one, like, uh, less than two euros at the Steam store. So, uh, so I had to buy it for myself and uh, see what it was all about. It looks very spooky, very interesting. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. And now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world, or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation re required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're willing to, and provided that you were, and provided that you are a willing participant, Markiplier has trouble with this line as well. What the heck? And provided that you are a willing participant, we will be, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Would you be all right with living alone forever? Interesting. Probably, since I've already been living alone for the past five years, and though it has its uh, upside, ups and downs, I think that the perks of it do outweigh uh, the costs. So, yeah. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Uh, yeah, because the TARDIS is blue. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Well, yes, because I probably wouldn't be able uh, to shake the guilt of not having done so, because I value viewing myself as a good person uh, more than uh, whatever money I could gain by keeping it. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? <laughs> it was at this exact question that I stopped uh, watching uh, Markiplier's video about this, because this is so interesting. Um, yeah, I do, because I value truth maybe above uh, above anything else. There, there's no point in uh, in living a lie. In that, that you'd be better off living a life that is true but is also hell than to live a life that is a lie but very pleasant. So I suppose if the answers are true, then I I and if I do seek them, then I would like to know them. Or maybe like is the wrong word, but I would want it to know them. Are you afraid of spiders? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> the easiest question so far. Would you consider yourself to be fat? <laughs> no, I am, I am as thin as they come. Yeah, that's the question, okay. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? Ugh. Probably not. Lots of charisma, no, no, I don't think so. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? No, <laughs> no. You mean to like live forever? To, uh, I mean, um, to see the future, I mean, so to be cryogenically frozen? No, I've never wished for this. This is all very interesting, I'm sure. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions were put together to spell the name Satan? <laughs> no, I did not realize that. What the heck? Is that true? Does that make you uncomfortable? 
Uh, no, because I did not ask these questions. You asked them to me. And I'm, I also, yeah, okay, no, it does not make me, make, me, make me uncomfortable. I agree with finding hidden puzzles or clues. Well, not that good, apparently, because I missed that clue. Am I good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? I want to say yes, but am I going to, I'm, I'm going to be very embarrassed if I'm missing something obvious <laughs> during this entire thing. I mean, I'm looking at the screen now and he is like a plague doctor mask. Is that significant? I'm going to say yes, because I do like watching shows and predicting what the outcome will be of events. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yes! Yes. Have you been entirely honest with your answers this far? Yes, I have. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? Not until you ask this question. <laughs> no, I'm not afraid. I, 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 I would think it's a pity, but I'm not afraid of the consequences because this is a game. And you won't be able to convince me otherwise, sir. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering this honestly? <laughs> no, because they, there are not. So, how can I answer this question honestly while, we while, while, reje while rejecting the premise it was formed in? Um, I'm not aware there could be potential consequences. I suppose no, since I still don't think there are. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? No, not really. I think that this creepy atmosphere is what I sort of expected. Would you consider yourself captivated? Oh, I am intrigued. Uh, yeah, captivated maybe a strong word, but yeah, yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be brave? Oh my god. Would I consider myself to be brave? Well, I am worried and scared of lots of things. But I would like to think that I do not let those things stand in the way of what is important. And as a wise man once said, bravery is not a matter of not being frightened. It's being afraid and doing what you have to do anyway. Um... Yeah, I like to think I am brave. That's very arrogant to say online. Oh my god, I know. Do you view yourself as someone with above average <laughs> intelligence? <laughs> oh god! Oh no, Markiplier must have struggled with this as well, unless he, unless he has a very modest view of himself. I suppose I do, let's move on. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No, I have not anymore, actually. I, because I still am not convinced there are any consequences. Are you wondering which hidden messages you have missed? Yeah, okay, I do wonder that. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? I think Markiplier's video was about 45 minutes, so uh, no, I, I think that'll, that'll do. Uh, that, with that knowledge, it can't be that long. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Oh, okay, so you're saying there are lots of questions. Um... <laughs> Yes, I think I am a patient person. Do most humans annoy you? Oh god! <laughs> um, <phew. laughs> My gut instinct is, is yes. Not because, I, you know, you know, th there are... Yeah, <laughs> how can I ex defend that? Do I have to defend that? <laughs> Like, uh, there are a very select f group of people that I consider, like, my friends and who I truly enjoy uh, talking to regardless. And people outside of that group, um, maybe without proper justification, but I do find them less enjoyable to interact with. And if I am forced to do so, then I find that annoying most of the time. I should, probably shouldn't think, think of it that way because, you know, they could also become my friends at some point. And it is, why would I judge them beforehand? But yes, I, th I suppose <laughs> most humans annoy me. 
Do you prefer animals to, pe to people? Yes, I do. Except spiders. Do you believe in magic? No, I don't. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? I'm, I've been trying to avoid answering this question in this video and also in the comment section. I do not. Do you fear death? Um, I'd like to think I don't fear it as much as I could. <laughs> but I suppose I, I sort of do. Yeah. Do you drink water every day? Yes, I do. Wow. Do you eat at least once per day, every day? Uh, yes? Who would say no to that? Do you realize that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? <laughs> no, I do not. Do you realize that you just missed another one? No, is this another one? Are you wondering what they were? Yes. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No. Is your favorite number seven? Is this another, like, um, uh, satanistic message, if you like? Because, I don't know, seven sins or something? No, my favorite number is not seven. It is three. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Since I do not believe in an afterlife, I suppose I have to agree. Oranges cannot be compared to apples, do you agree? I disagree, because you can say that an orange tastes better than an apple. Venus is sometimes referred to as the Morning Star. Did you know that? Morning Star is like the name of uh, Lucifer, another name for Lucifer. I did not know that that was what Venus was called, but I am seeing sort of hidden messages now. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? <sighs> Everyone is a very big word. But I do have to think that if someone were to... Apologize... Sincerely... That they should. But of course there are people who don't apologize sincerely. The second chance, that automatically means that they want to try again, right? So that they are not satisfied, happy with what they did. So there's sort of regret involved already. So yeah, I suppose I think everyone deserves a second chance. Whether... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? No, I cannot fly. And there are limits to my capabilities as a person. Because I was born a certain way. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No, I do not agree. What? Obedience? Well, unless it's obedience to the supreme moral law. But I think... Uh, <laughs> but even then, you have to choose that willingly by your own free will. Free will, otherwise it is meaningless. So no, free, the free will is more important. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. No, I think I'd be very scared of the dark and the pressure and the oxygen running out and uh, claustrophobic or something, even though I'm not in a room, but you know what I mean. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? I did not realize that. So you're like, keeping track, I think you're, you could just tell me anyway. Do you wish to be loved? Oh my god. Uh, uh, who... Who can answer no to that honestly? Come on. We all, we all wish to be loved, sure. Do you have any addictions? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I, I don't uh, use drugs or have any sort of alcohol addiction, but I suppose I am addicted uh, to stuff anyhow. Like, for example... No, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to give other examples. God damn it. Um, electronics since being behind the laptop a long time and uh, maybe eating chocolates. I mean, that's kind of addicting, right? Is, is there caffeine in it? These are, these are poor excuses. But yes, I suppose you could say... Uh, but I would like to think that I could quit anytime I want. But that's what all addicts say, don't they? So I wouldn't know. But I do think that the probability is high that I would be addicted to something, whether I know it or not. So yes. 
Do you dislike the color pink? Hmm. I think it is very, very bright and does not match well with many other colors and it's kind of a headache. So uh, yes, I do dislike the color pink. Does the color gray seem depressing? Yeah. Do you enjoy loud music? No, I dislike the wop 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 uh, parties. Do you like to dance? Yes, I danced yesterday, uh, sort of, to the uh, soundtrack of Pirates of the Caribbean. Would you consider yourself normal? I suppose not. But I wonder, if is anyone normal? And if nobody is normal, then is that not normal? And I also worry, I'm not saying I'm such a special little snowflake. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I no, I don't no, I don't think I consider myself very normal. Do you love your parents? Yes, I do. Have you ever been lied to? Of course I have. Do you get angry often? Hmm. What is often? What is angry? I get annoyed. I don't think I get I don't get angry easily. I think. Do you hold grudges? I do. I do do, do. I do do that. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yes, I have. I'm very happy about that, actually. Have you ever lied? Yes. Uh, though I try very hard not to because of the whole morality thing. But I have lied in the past. Yes. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Good question. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe trees are more beautiful, actually. No, yeah. Yeah. That's a good point, sir. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Uh, I've imagined it, but I, I don't think I've ever wanted it. Because I think I am extremely privileged to have been born the way I have been born. And to have been born at all, of course. I don't know. Do you believe you have psychic powers? I do not. Have you ever seen a ghost? I have not, as far as I know. Do you dream often? Yes, I do. Do you have nightmares often? What's a nightmare? Phew. I have like stressful dreams. But I don't think I'd call them nightmares. So no. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? I do not. Do you suffer from depression? I don't think so. Do you exercise often and stay active? Not at all, no. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Wounded is a very strong word. I do not consider myself emotionally wounded. Yeah, not wounded. Have you ever felt betrayed? Of course. Have you ever... Did you ever feel lost in life? Yeah, yeah. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Uh, there are times I'd like to think so, but I don't feel like... Uh, <laughs> my environment thinks of that the same. <laughs> For things of me as a leader, particularly. Uh, so, no, I don't, I don't think I am a natural leader. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? No, I would not. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Of course. Have you ever been bullied? I Yes, yes, at some point. Have you ever bullied someone else? Oh my god. Probably, I think I have in like elementary school or something. Primary school, a long time ago, but I think you could call it, yeah. Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? What does that mean? Probably. As a wise man once said, I am and always will be the optimist, the hoper of far-flung hopes and the dreamer of improbable dreams. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Oh. Probably... 
I think I could pick up on social cues better. So, chances are high I do. Sometimes it's not necessarily often. Yeah, sometimes I do. Do you find space fascinating? Back to the Venus thing. Hmm, yeah, I do. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? <sighs> Am I an artist? I suppose I do some creative things. And uh, so I technically create things. So I suppose I am an artist. But not like professionally or a good one. You know what I mean? I mean in the sense that we are all artists. Because we are all creating things. The most important one being who we are. So yes. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? I do. I'm sorry for being so arrogant, but I think that I've got that on lockdown. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Oh, absolutely. Have you ever stolen from someone? I have, but then again in like primary school, elementary school, but I have stolen some, yeah, so like a toy dragon and a like Duplo Lego kind of thing. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? I was about to say no, because I sh the, the deontological moral rule is that you should never kill. But you can kill, I suppose, in self-defense or in defense of others if there is absolutely no other way and no other way to, to mitigate the damage you're doing. So, in, there are circumstances, I think, in which I would. But then only in direct defense of myself or others. Yeah. If you had one day to live, would you tell anyone? Oh, good question. I've often thought that if I were terminally ill, that I would not tell people. At least not for a long time. Because that way people would feel down when talking to me because they would know that the end is coming and they would feel obligated to talk with me and hang out with me because of this and feel a sense of dread and urgency and that would just poison the experience the final experiences i can have with with people i want to hang out with so but if one day is very short so maybe Later in the day, I would tell people. Yeah, I would tell people, I think, at later in the day. Or maybe even earlier. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? What's my darkest secrets? Probably not. <laughs> I'm sorry. If <laughs> I have not. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? No, I don't trust you. Trust is earned. And as you say, I know nothing about you. Do you know who I am? No. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Good question. <sighs> Maybe I could be more empathetic. I'm not not empathetic. But maybe I, I, I maybe no, less than average. I don't know. I wouldn't. I would not consider myself to be particularly empathetic. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? No, I do not. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Technically, I in high school I I punched a guy and he punched me. And that was it. If you consider that a fight, yeah, sure. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? No. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Yeah, annoyingly, I think I do do that a lot. You should not do that. You should have better posture and like, yeah, but I think I do. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Uh, yes. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? Yes, yesterday, parts of the Caribbean, we've been over this. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Yes, I do. 
Do you remember your childhood extremely well? No, I don't. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yeah, I think I do dream that sometimes. I mean, the killer is very specific, but I do dream that I'm running away or being chased. So, yeah. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? No. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? I think I have dreamt that ever. Yes, at some, t- at some, at some point I have had that dream. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yes. Do you like being the center of attention? It depends on the circumstance, of course, but I suppose in a social setting, I, I think that I, I do kind of, can, I can enjoy that, yes. Do you feel like something is always watching you? No, I don't. Have you ever punched a nun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I read this in the reviews of the game, <laughs> but, but I have not, I've never punched a nun. Do you like dogs better than cats? No, I like cats better than dogs. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No, also the opposite. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you've ever punched a nun? No, because you're just trying to throw me off and being silly and mi- mixing nonsensical, unimportant questions with important ones and trying to be scary all the time and mysterious. That's why. So I'm not wondering why. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yeah, big parties is, is, is less comfortable. Hate is a strong word, though. I'm not, but they're not my kind of party. But I don't hate going to that. So no. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? No. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like really, just bam, right in the face, nun punch. <laughs> no, I have not. Did you laugh? Yes. Did you say what the frick in your head or even aloud? No, I don't think so. No. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity <laughs> to punch a nun sometime soon? <laughs> no, I am not. Why would I want this? Stop this. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to? It's what a hard, amazingly dark question to follow that up on. I don't know. I don't think so. And even if I w- did go to hell, then that would be the result of living my life the way I wanted to and being myself, so I'll I'll take whatever reward or punishment I will I sh- I would receive for doing what I believe to be right. Um so maybe if God or if a higher power exists and is malevolent or has very different morals, then I would go to hell. But I would assume the best because I'm an optimist, so I don't think I would go to hell. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yes, Dragon Fable, of course. Do you believe in demons? No. Do you believe in angels? No. It's funny that I hesitate more with this. I mean, I'm considering if people can be angels, but no. Are you afraid of sharks? Uh, Yeah, I realize it is a um, illogical fear, but I suppose I am afraid of sharks. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? No, I did not. There was no shadow. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? No. You're unsuccessful in creeping me out, man. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No, because as we said, freedom is more important than obedience. Are you keeping track of these questions? Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? Um, yes, I have wondered that. I think it would be horrible. Do you like fishing? No, that's also sort of torture for the fish. And (laughs) I would say torture for me, but that's that's an exaggeration, of course. That's not true. I've never fished. Do you like hunting? No, speaking of immoral. Do you like camping? No, I don't like the outdoors. (laughs) So, do you like guns? No. 
Do you always keep your promises? I do. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Yes, I think. Like I said, everyone deserves a second chance. Everyone can be redeemed and trust can be won again within reason. Unless there has been an, an amazingly big betrayal. So, yeah. Are you an only child? I am. Did you did you guess that? Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I do. I don't recommend it. Don't drink, drink kids. Um, do you like tattoos? I am not a particular fan of it. No. Not particularly, no. Do you enjoy being high in any form? No, I don't do drugs, as I said. Do you believe you have a soul? Oh, I just said no to that. So, no, I do not believe I have a soul. No. Did you cry this week? Did I cry this week? The latest episode of Attack on Titan came out this week. And, I mean, I think I got teary-eyed. I don't think I cried. No, I don't think I cried at that. It's only, it's only Wednesday. It's only Tuesday. So... No, I have not cried this week. Not that I cry every week. I just, I'm just saying. Are you upset with someone right now? Mm, uh, I suppose, since I hold grudges, there are people I haven't talked to in a long, 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 long time who I'm sort, like you could say, upset with. So sure. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No. Do you understand how this works yet? Uh, I answer questions and my honesty or maybe dishonesty feeds uh, the demon you're summoning in your fireplace. But I do not understand, no. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering questions. It's about the time you spend answering them. The combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you never guess. Do you understand? Yeah, okay. Are you, were, are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon, based on the previous question you just answered? I, for a moment there, I thought you were going to make me answer all these questions again to see if I say the exact, exact same thing. I suppose I wonder it. But I did not wonder it before you asked me, so no. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you... To learn something about yourself and anyone else that bother, bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention. Would you believe that? No. Are you afraid of being abandoned? I suppose so, yes. Are you afraid of dying alone? As I said, I don't mind living alone, but I am afraid of death. So, am I afraid of dying alone? I'm afraid of dying. And I don't want to be abandoned, but I don't mind living alone. What? This is a very strange question. I hope you're not using this to... to you're probably using that to see if I'm being consistent. But I don't know what's consistent in this case. Are you afraid of dying alone? I suppose so. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? No! <laughs> Are you always on guard, waiting to fend off an attack? No, I'm not. Do you feel like I know you yet? You don't know me. You don't know me, man. Ah, oh, come on. Um, no, you're just a computer program to ask these questions in an order and to... You're not a sentient... No, you don't know me. No. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? Oh, there was just a noise outside, but I know what that is. That's just the neighbors. So, no, not really strange noises, no. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. You already have the results. Come on, man. Let's move this along. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Is that a demon thing in the corners of the text box and in the middle? Sure. You've got to start taking life a bit more seriously. 
I hate to start this off so glum, but you need a swift kick in the ass. I'm just being real and honest with you right now. You've got so much potential and you're not taking advantage of it. You can blame others around you, you can blame your circumstance, you can blame yourself, but no matter what. None of that matters at this point. You need to get going and you need to get the ball rolling. Do you, do you even realize that you could be a major star? Do you even realize just how incredibly talented you are? You don't, do you? You don't even understand how much potential you hold within. You need to pull your head out of your ass and get your shit together. I just said I did not want to swear. Because the world needs you more than you could even imagine. You're going to do amazing things in life, but only if you decide to. I know this wasn't what you were expecting, no. But maybe it isn't even what you wanted to hear, but enough time has been squandered. Seriously, you are an impressive specimen. You could do incredible things and not just one or two. You can do a lot of amazing stuff if you really put your mind to it. It's absolutely, it's absolutely imperative, however, that you stop looking for reasons not to get things done and you turn your brain off for a while. Stop thinking, just do it. Stop dreaming, just act. Oh, because I said that I'm a dreamer? Get started immediately. Stop taking breaks. Stop procrastinating, because here's the biggest truth. Your time is ticking away. You can still be a major success, but your chances are further limited as the sand of the hourglass falls. Get going! Your secret word is chaos! Remember this word. This will come in handy. This was meant to cause anxiety in me or something. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you or some of you based on your answers to be included in the future projects we're currently working on. Oh, you say some of you, so I was not the only person this test was designed for. Man. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. Alright, it was a fun game. It was a fun quiz uh, test. I like that. Sadly, it did not have a, any, any particularly frightening effect, and I think that uh, the uh, advice at the end kind of misses the mark. But uh, I liked it. All right, hello, this is future Jasper speaking. Um, past Jasper was a little bit ticked off by the test result uh, because he just had his week off and he was trying to relax and have a good time, but he was feeling very restless and bored uh, and he did not really want to hear at that time that uh, he had to stop taking breaks and get going. Also, uh, I felt and feel like that uh, it is uh, very arrogant to to assume you have so much potential uh, and to accept the, the compliments that this uh, test uh, was handing out. Um, some people, uh, not for everyone, I suppose. Some people uh, need that kind of confidence and deserve uh, deserve those kinds of compliments more. And but I think that I'm uh, arrogant enough in certain areas as it is, and to accept those compliments as uh, just and mine, that, that would mean uh, giving in to even more arrogance. So I kind of uh, rejected uh, agreeing with <laughs> the, uh, the test advice. I talked it over with a good friend of mine though, uh, and uh, I suppose she has convinced me to, to well, uh, yeah, to not... Uh, uh, give up on changing the world just yet. So I suppose I've been convinced to, against my better judgment, even though I don't believe I'll be able to do it, I'll, I'll, I'll try and change the world after all. So uh, to start, I, <laughs> I'm going to write a freaking book now. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> that, that's, that's all that I wanted to share about that. Uh, let's wrap this up past Jasper. But uh, I liked it. It was a fun, <laughs> fun test. Uh, I, I'm not really sure yet because I haven't edited it yet. But the probability is high that I've edited some questions out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but thank you so much for watching again. If you uh, 
enjoy it. No, I'm not going to ask him. I'm not. You're Jasper. Don't ask him to hit the like button. You're not that kind of YouTuber. Um, yeah. As I always say, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.